One of the interesting things about taking art into these urban settings as opposed to sort of galleries and museums is to kind of give access to people who just don't necessarily go into those spaces. We were in a situation where people questioned the value of art a lot of the time, and here, you, you know, it's quite clear to see, actually, it's a good thing. Oi, can you move? So I started off, um, like most people do with art, just through a love of drawing as a kid. I suppose the first kind of art I came across was things like comics, record covers, like very much stuff you'd find in the home rather than stuff you'd find in the gallery. I like art where it kind of interfaces with, with the world. <laughs> My first kind of experience with getting stuff up out on the street or out into sort of public spaces with fairly, I guess, basic things like pasting up posters, um, throwing up banners, not with any expectation of them staying up very long, just kind of seeing what happens as it were. This particular piece, please believe these days will pass, is a piece of work that's had a reasonably long life. And then around the time of the outbreak, in the beginning of lockdown, a lot of people started posting images on social media of those previous works. So it made me realise that it was chiming with what was happening now. This pause that's happened for a lot of people is, you know, difficult and threatening. So I think that's what art offers, you know, the sort of idea of the world which can be poetic or have beauty within it. You know, I think and is transformative and takes you away from your day-to-day -day situation. I wanted something which is like quite different from the kind of grey urban landscape. So something brightly coloured, almost like a dream of lying on a beach or, you know, having your eyes closed and the brightness of the sun casting these kind of colours behind your eyelids. I try to think about what someone can take on board as they pass by. So I tend to use like short, sharp words, not too many. The whole atmosphere of the work is supposed to be like a voice. So it's like someone addressing you in a certain kind of way. You know, it could be helpful, it could be aggressive, it could be a friend could be a child speaking to you, or it could be a sort of faceless authoritarian kind of figure. I also really like the idea of people coming across stuff and not really knowing what it is. Like, it's not framed as being art necessarily. Like, is it a protest banner? Is it a kind of advert for an evangelical church? It's just part of the fabric of, you know, this, this sort of shared space. This particular project has just been a really amazing opportunity to do something at a time where it's more meaningful than it would have been normally. This is the first time I've been outside of my local area in five weeks now. And to kind of have a sense of people experiencing the artwork has been really, you know, a really positive thing on a personal level for me. When this is all over, it's really difficult to know how we're all going to feel because I think it's going to take a lot of getting used to being uh, around each other again. You know, I think it'll be quite an emotional phase that we're going to go through. You know, I hope it's a relief and I hope the people who have uh, propped us up get the respect that they deserve. <laughs>